Hey everyone and welcome to my cooking video. I'm going to be sharing with you my meal plan, my grocery shop and what I am cooking this whole week. So every like Friday, Saturday I do a meal plan where I write down what I am going to be eating that week. On Monday I am going to have tofu with zucchini noodles. I've got tofu that needs to be used up so I need to cook that at the start of the week. Then we have ricotta and beef bake pasta. Wednesday I'm going to have um, the leftovers because I'm going to cook quite a bit of that. Thursday I have ducker from like Christmas time that I need to ease up so I'm going to make chicken. Uh, with couscous and then Friday um, I saw gnocchi in, in the supermarket so I thought I'd try cooking that with chorizo and mozzarella and then on the weekends will be like leftovers or eating out. I normally only eat rice like once or twice a week. I'm the only one eating the food and sometimes Tommy comes over so I would cook enough for me and him for dinner and then leftovers for my lunch the next day. So I make a shopping list on my countdown app and you can set it to um, your location so it tells you what aisle it's in so you can find it really easily and then I just go import it to the online shop and then I just search it item by item so there you go that's my list up across there and I can um, see how much the things are. So I'm going to take this to Fruit World and compare the prices like per kg and if it's cheaper at Fruit World or the butcher then I'll go buy the things from there and then the rest of the items um, like pasta and things like that I'll just pick up from Countdown. So I budget $60 um, for the groceries overall and this week I am going to go to Fruit World to pick up the fruit and veggies and the butcher to pick up the meat to see if it's actually cheaper than buying it all from the grocery store. So yeah, that's pretty much my dinner and lunch sorted and now we're going to go grocery shopping. So this is my groceries for this week. This is what I got from Fruit World. I got a bag of spinach, onions, orange, lime, um, courgettes or zucchini. And I got couscous, which was surprisingly a lot cheaper than at Countdown. Um, I got cooking rice wine as well. And then at the butcher, I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, um, premium beef mints, and the rest I got from Countdown. Chorizo, spaghetti, I've got fusilli as well, um, gnocchi, mozzarella, a small tub of ricotta, and I even got a zester. So all of this came to $60 exactly, including the zester. It was a lot cheaper to buy the fruit and veggies from Fruit World and the meat at um, a butcher rather than buying it all together at Countdown. So I managed to stick to my budget. It came to like $60 exactly, which I am very pleased about. It is much more convenient to just buy everything online and just pick it up, which I've been doing like over the past couple of years. Pretty much all the fruit and veggies and meat was cheaper at Fruit World and at the Butcher rather than at Countdown. So it's a bit more effort and coordination, but um, if you're looking to save money, I recommend doing the same thing. So yeah, that's my meal planning and grocery shop process.
Hello, it's a Saturday and we just did a big bike ride from Avondale to town. We're in a commercial bay at the moment and this is my lunch. Margarita pizza and Tommy's having chicken korma. Me, thank you. Oh, that veggies look yum on the side of the octoy. I don't use the Japanese food. Oh, like those? <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, so those were my meals for the week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed um, vlogging the shopping and the cooking process. All the meals were quite nice. I'll just give a quick review of um, what I thought of the recipes because they were all new. So the first one was the tofu and zucchini noodles. The tofu was really good. I couldn't get it like crispy enough. Maybe a higher heat would have helped um, but it was delicious all the same. I didn't actually like it on the raw zucchini noodles. So the next two meals that I had with that for um, lunch and then dinner I had it with rice and it was really tasty and really filling as well because when I had the zucchini noodles it was like two zucchinis and I wasn't like full so I definitely needed rice with that but if you're looking for like a light and very healthy meal the tofu and zucchini noodles is a winning combo and then I had a baked pasta with the beef and ricotta. I've made that one several times and it's always so good. So filling and hearty as well. I love making it in the winter because it's warm and really cheesy. That made like several meals because I had it for dinner and then had it for lunch. And then me and Tommy had it for dinner the next day and then I had it for lunch again. So like five servings. And then I had the grilled chicken with dukkha. Um, that was so good. I love chicken thighs and I had it with couscous which was delicious and I put spinach into the couscous as well as you would have seen so another healthy meal full of proteins and tonight I just made the gnocchi with um, chorizo and mozzarella and I had some zucchini leftovers or courgettes so I just grilled that with olive oil and salt and pepper so good if you're looking for an easy way to just add um, vegetables to your meal so quick and easy yeah the overall dish was really nice i think i was trying to find this chorizo that i got in my hello fresh box one time they're like quite big like full sausage size chorizo so not the sticks but i couldn't find that in countdown i think that would have been a lot nicer um because these are like ready to eat sticks i don't know i think it would have um, altered the flavor more if I use like the big chorizos but still delicious love the mozzarella I think I should have used one can of um, tomatoes though but it was both so it was like overflowing but I looked it up after I cooked that in my carbon steel pan and apparently you're not supposed to use um, carbon steel for cooking acidic food so with canned tomatoes i wasn't supposed to cook that because now the platina has gone off it is gone so i had to deglaze it after i cooked so that wasn't fun but yeah lesson learned that was what i cooked this week we ate out maybe twice let me know if you enjoy these types of videos and i will film some more i'll give you a glimpse of what i'm having next week i've still got heaps of leftovers of the gnocchi and the chorizo so i'll have that tomorrow the next meal i'm having is mac and cheese with pine nuts i'm supposed to have ham but i forgot to buy ham today with um like a breadcrumb topping with pine nuts pine nuts are so expensive i didn't realize it but um that was a hella fresh recipe that i just keep recreating because it's so delicious so i'm having that with um some more grilled zucchinis and then I've got beef bulgogi because I found the beef bulgogi cut in my butcher. Oh, and then I've got a Chelsea Winter recipe which is meatballs and I'm gonna make cauliflower rice. Which is like this thing that I found while I was scrolling on YouTube because I watch a lot of like American YouTubers so that popped up and I was like cauliflower rice it's just grated cauliflower. But I found like a cauliflower rice that's like fried so it's like fried rice. Um, but it has like cauliflower, broccoli, corn and carrot and courgettes and onion just like fried in a pan so that looks super delicious. I'm gonna have that with the meatballs. So yeah, that's what I'm having this week and my groceries only added up to like uh, $40 so I'm super happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like it and you want me to film some more and I hope it inspires you to cook some delicious dinners and have leftovers for lunch rather than buying it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.